In this workshop, you'll experience the development journey of a fictitious company called Alpha Office as they implement an autonomous data warehouse for the first time. Over the years, Alpha Office has failed several attempts to implement a data warehouse. Each time, the project started out with good intentions, but bogged down in implementation. Today, leadership has asked IT to build a new data warehouse to support multiple lines of business. They need to find a solution that will provide the advanced analytics the company needs to be competitive in the future. Over the years, Vijay Gupta, the lead DBA for Alpha Office, has experienced the pain of data warehouse construction firsthand. Despite putting in countless hours to ensure the project's success, over time, complexities developed. Critical tasks like hardware upgrades, patching, tuning, and backups simply took more time than the man hours available for his staff. Now VJ is adamant that Alpha Office needs a simpler data warehouse solution, one that can be implemented easily by six current physical DBAs, one that does many of the day-to-day -day operations like upgrades or tuning for him, all the while providing a familiar user interface for his staff to create and manage new data structures. Along with VJ, Heather Wyatt, Alpha Office's lead data scientist, has also felt frustration over the years. Data warehouse downtime, performance issues, and poor analytical tooling have often led her to missing deliverable dates, or worse, providing results with lower confidence levels than she would like. She needs a solution that lowers her dependence on DBA staff, all the while providing better performance and upgraded analytical tooling. One of the biggest consumers of Heather's advanced analytics is marketing analyst Emma Vargas. She's a rising star with big ideas, but has never been able to implement the ideas due to delays in data analysis and the current system's dependence on DBAs to perform advanced data queries and extractions. Emma needs more insights and understanding of the business meaning of the data from Heather in order to plan for the future. Today, for the first time ever, Emma, VJ, and Heather are exploring the Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud Service, ADWC. ADWC is a fully managed database tuned and optimized for data warehouse workloads that will alleviate the physical data management and infrastructure struggles faced by Alpha Office. And it will provide Heather and Emma the tools they need to excel in their roles without dependence on physical DBAs. It provides the next generation of database technology by leveraging artificial intelligence and machine learning to incorporate the best tuning, operations, and data management practices observed by Oracle and developed into the product over the past 30 years. For VJ, this means basic data admin tasks like network configuration, storage, database patching, and upgrades are all handled for him. Security is built in and automated. The Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud Service always leverages the latest security patches, encrypts data, and ensures all database clients use SSL slash TLS 1.2 encrypted and mutually authenticated connections. When it comes to performance, ADWC leverages four key features, smart scan, storage indexes, flash cache, and in-memory. This ensures that no matter what question Heather or Emma ask of the data, the results are returned as fast as technically possible. Smart scan is a cell offload that pushes query information retrieval down to the storage level. The storage cell performs an intelligent filter of the required data and returns only the relevant bytes, not all the raw blocks of information. Storage indexes work in conjunction with SmartScan to improve SmartScan performance. They automatically maintain data block information in the memory of the storage cell and can greatly reduce the amount of physical I.O. performed during the query. The key strategy for improved data warehouse performance involves reducing the amount of physical I.O. required to perform queries. Oracle Flash Cache significantly expands the global database memory so queries can find data blocks in Flash Cache without needing to perform physical I.O. Oracle In Memory is yet another weapon in the Oracle Data Warehouse arsenal focused on enhancing performance by reducing query times and automatically maintaining a replica set of the data in a highly optimized in-memory columnar format. With the Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud Service, Heather Wyatt has the tools she needs to practice data science. The highly popular open source Apache Zeppelin tool is built in and directly integrated with machine learning. With the Apache Zeppelin SQL Notebook, Heather can graphically model the data and also define analytics against the data, 
then easily share these definitions with others. The integration of Apache Zeppelin with Oracle Machine Learning gives Heather the power of artificial intelligence. For example, Heather can create a machine learning model to determine customer credit worthiness based on the full scope of customer data. Once the machine learning model is created, it goes to work in the background, generating critical analytic metrics. With Heather's data in order, Emma can then leverage the advanced analytics in the cloud to evaluate the marketing data for all her new ideas. Advanced analytics provides Emma the visible flexibility she needs to get results without constant dependence on physical DBAs. By leveraging autonomous, Alpha Office is able to unlock the full potential of its data and focus resources on the core competencies that will grow the business. Our goal over the next four hours will be to assume the roles of EJ, Heather, and Emma and follow their journey as they leverage the cloud to transform Alpha Office. In Lab 100, you will take on the persona of VJ Gupta, lead DBA. As VJ, you will create a new autonomous data warehouse cloud instance. You will also download a credentials wallet so you can access the instance from SQL Developer. And from SQL Developer, you will generate data to be used in Lab 200. You will also create an autonomous analytic cloud service to be used later in Lab 400. In Lab 200, you will again be VJ Gupta, and you will run a series of tests determining the performance of the Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud Service against a very large raw data set, over 6 billion rows, where there has been no manual data positioning, no data management, indexing, or tuning. The test will show that the Autonomous Data Warehouse provides excellent performance for ad hoc queries against raw loaded data with no DBA intervention. In Lab 300, you will assume the persona of Heather Wyatt, data scientist, as she explores exciting high-level data analytics tools. First, you will explore the popular open source Apache Zeppelin analytics collaboration tool by importing a Zeppelin notebook. And then you will explore Oracle's machine learning using Oracle ML integrated with Apache Zeppelin to analyze customer credit data. In Lab 400, you will be Emma Vargas, a star marketing analyst. As Emma, you will use Oracle Advanced Analytics to investigate customer marketing data, including customer credit scores. First, you will review pre-built marketing dashboards, then you will develop a good credit factor analysis, building on the sales credit machine learning results created by Heather in Lab 300. 